If you had told me this morning that I was going to end the day trapped inside of an evil doctor's hospital, I would have told you that you had an overactive imagination. The day started off pretty normal. I was making some friendship bracelets. I was stringing on some beads. I got a bead stuck up my nose. So I had to come to the hospital and that's where I met the scariest doctor I have ever seen in my entire life. So if you wanna watch a truly terrifying tale of survival, then you have come to the right place. But if you do not, I am warning you, go back now. There's scary things happening behind these doors. All right, maybe not that door specifically. I actually found an exit key in here, which is the opposite of terrifying. <gasps> Oh no, spoke too soon. The doctor has found me. Come on, everybody, we gotta get out of here. This doctor has a bad case of pink eye Bruh. and a questionable manicure. I can only imagine that it's difficult to do surgery when you have the longest nails in the world. Huh? I need some more time to figure out what's going on in this evil hospital. I just need to find somewhere safe that I can hide. Oh, an exit door, the key. Oh my gosh, I think I made it. All right, a first successful escape from the doctor, but I know that it's not gonna be my last because he has locked all of us inside of the hospital and is refusing to let anyone leave. But I think that there's enough of us patients in this hospital that maybe we can outsmart this doctor. I mean, look, we've already found the sewers. So if you think that the other patients and I can outsmart the doctor, give this video a thumbs up. And if you don't, I will just have to assume that you are on team evil doctor. Uh oh, I gotta be real careful around the green sludge. Gotta be real careful around that green sludge. Here's the thing. I have heard that exposure to this green sludge can cause people to start acting pretty strangely. And I am wondering if maybe that is what happened to our doctor. Cause like I just arrived, I barely touched the green sludge, but that doctor has been working in this hospital day in, day out. He is exposed to the sludge all the time. I think that might be it. I think it's done something to him. We're back in the main part of the hospital and we have to be really, really careful because the doctor could be literally anywhere. Could be around the next corner. Oh no, he's come to the cafeteria for a snack. What are the chances he didn't see me? Any chance that he didn't see me? Let's have a, uh, oh no, he saw me. Yep, he saw me. <laughs> no, 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 why is he so fast? Please, I just came here to get the bead out of my nose and it's still stuck in my nose. Oh, oh my gosh, he's right there. Oh, ah. Ah. My brand new white unicorn coloring book is now available on Amazon. Follow the link in the description. Okay, so first trip to the cafeteria did not go to plan, but now I know that you're coming. Yep, there you are. No surprises here, Dr. Evil Scary Face. I will be eating myself up the wall. He can perform surgery. He can chase children around the hospital, but can he climb walls? I really hope not. <laughs> oh no, I wanna get through that vent, but it's got lasers on it. How am I supposed to turn off the lasers? Okay, there's gotta be a way to do it. I just need to find how to turn them off, but that means going back down on the floor and the doctor's down there. I really don't wanna go down there. Okay, maybe I'll just try to figure out where she just keeps running underneath me. That's so scary. Okay, I'm making a run for it. There's the button. I see the button. That's the way to turn off the lasers. I just need to get there. And how am I supposed to escape? So you have like an emo haircut. What? All right, back in the bathroom, really hoping those lasers are disarmed. Oh my gosh, how are you already here? <laughs> Aren't you supposed to burst through the door dramatically? All right, good news is um, the button is green. It looks like the lasers have been successfully disarmed, which means I just need to get up to the vent. And fingers crossed, it's open. Oh my gosh, yes. What are the chances this vent leads to the outside? Slim, sounds like there's monsters out there. I need to find a weapon in this room to fight them. I could take this one, oh, but I don't wanna pay for it. Not if there's already other weapons in the room. I gotta check in here. Oh yeah, here we go. This looks like something that I could use. I am ready. Oh my gosh, I am not ready. Ah, how did this many zombies get in the hospital? <gasps> oh my gosh, I think I know what's going on here. The doctor, he's the leader of the zombies. Dr. Zombie, the zombie king. He is turning the patients into zombies to build his own personal zombie army. He's just waiting for innocent people to come into the hospital looking, looking for, for medical, medical help. And then he's zombifying them. It's more horrible than I could have ever imagined. If I don't get out of here, I think he's gonna turn me into a zombie too. And I'm not even convinced that he's going to remove that bead from my nose before he does it. So I'll be a zombie with a bead in my nose, stuck in this hospital forever. Wait, police line, do not cross. Oops, I accidentally crossed it. Oh, wait a second, where am I now? I'm some sort of 
Dungeon? I did not know that the hospital had a dungeon. I think the doctor might have built this. Okay, working theory. I think this is where the doctor keeps all of the patients before he turns them into zombies? Maybe some of the patients resist being turned into zombies and he just keeps them down here forever. Okay, we need to defeat that zombie doctor. We need to free the patients. Hopefully they can turn back into people. Can zombies turn back into people after they've been zombified? I guess it depends whether their brain has been eaten. Oops. <laughs> All right, my pals, I think I have a very difficult decision ahead of me. I could try to escape the evil hospital and save myself, or I could have a final showdown with the doctor, defeat the zombie king, and then possibly some of the zombies will turn back into people? Like if I stay and fight, I might get defeated, but I also might be able to save the other patients. It's almost like a moral dilemma. All right, I'm throwing it to a poll. If you think that I should just run and save myself, put a running emoji in the comment section. But if you think that I should stay and fight the doctor, fight that zombie king, oops, and hopefully not step on too many more sharp objects. If you think I should stay and fight, I wanna see a crown emoji in the comment section. Also, obviously, if there are any zombie experts watching this right now, if you have any information for me, any important information that might help me defeat the Dr. Zombie King man, then please let me know. I need all the help I can get. Oh, wow, I think I found my way out of the maze, but I think this leads back into the hospital, which is not great news for me. Oh my gosh, <gasps> the hospital's in ruins! And Dr. Zombie King was following me all along! Okay, only one thing left to do here. Run! The hospital is in shambles! There's fires everywhere, all the windows are broken. Gonna get out of this one? Just don't think about the doctor zombie behind you. Just keep running. Just focus on running. Oh yeah, he's still there. Just get through the door. Get through the door. <gasps> Thank goodness. A moment of respite. I think I am safe for now. I mean, as safe as you can be when you were jumping on broken boards over top of a pit of spikes, but you get what I mean. Maybe there's something useful in the old attic of the hospital. We have to pull the levers to get through. Okay, what levers? Which levers are we talking about? Do the levers turn off the lasers? Well, it might be nice if they did. <laughs> Cause I just got chopped in half. Oh my gosh, I wonder which door they're talking about. Could it be the door that leads to the outside? Maybe if we can pull these levers, we'll actually be able to leave the hospital. All these patients, they're relying on me. I need to get this lever. One more, okay, one more lever. We can definitely do this. Obviously, a few more lasers than I would ideally like. A few more zombies than I would ideally like, but we don't always get what we want. So let's find that other lever. Oh, whoa, so this is an interesting laser setup. Whoa, I gotta be real careful here. Where's that lever? I see it, the second lever. That's what I need to get out of here. Okay, what's gonna happen now? Perfect, the door is open. Okay, but does that mean that the doctor can get in? This seems like a mixed plan at best. I'm also wondering why there are so many banana peels just like lying around the hospital. Oh my gosh, these look like the doctor's victims. We must avoid them or they will get us. Wow, looking at those faces is unlocking some new nightmares for me. I think these patients are in the midst of their zombie transformation. I wonder if there's any way that we can save them. All right, I'm making a decision. I will have a showdown with the doctor. I know that I could just try to leave and save myself, but how would I live with myself? If I knew that I had left all of these people here. I've gotta say, I am curious why there's so much police tape. Like, were the police here? Why didn't they arrest the doctor? It's like, if this is a crime scene, what crime took place? Like, you'd think if the police knew that this doctor was turning patients into zombies, possibly as a result of some toxic zombie sludge that turned him into a zombie king, you'd think that they would take action. Maybe not. Maybe not. Well, you know what? If the police aren't gonna do anything about it, then I guess it's up to us, my pals. I don't wanna live in a town where Dr. Zombie King can just run the hospital unchecked, turning all of the patients into zombies, completely disregarding his Hippocratic oath to do no harm. It's all just, it's just not, doesn't sit well with me, you know? Also, man is trashing the hospital. He's literally flooded this entire section. Like the people are here for life-saving care. It's a little bit difficult if the whole place is flooded. All right, Doc, where are you? 
kind of hoping that it would be in this next room. This is strange. Caution, fragile glass. Oh wow, it's so fragile, it's like you don't even land on it. Now that I've made the decision that I want to have a final showdown with the doctor, I'm just like hoping that he's gonna be around every door. I hope that he is right here. Oh, oh, I'm sliding. <laughs> oh my gosh, did the doctor have anything to do with putting that slide in? Cause I kind of like the idea that he's like, I'm gonna turn you into zombies. I'm gonna terrorize you in this hospital, but I would like you to have a little bit of fun. Not too much, just a little bit, just a little slide. Just a teeny tiny something to offset the terror. I'm trying to figure out where I would be climbing up to. It's like we're going up to the roof or something. Ooh, roofs are a pretty good place to escape. Wouldn't mind a little bit of roof. Wow, that's a big jump. Luckily, I am incredibly agile. I just really wanna have my showdown so that we can defeat the doctor, release all of the patients, and then maybe go for a pizza party. Is that too much to ask? Any patients who remain zombies will be allowed at the pizza party as long as they promise, promise, not to eat any brains. Pizza only. All right, hello, doctor. Okay, or not, just some giant boulders. Honestly, at this point, I gotta say it, I think this doctor is a coward. It's like, why don't you wanna come out and face me? Is it because you're scared I'm going to win? Yeah, letting your giant boulders do your dirty work for you. Oh, that was close. <laughs> All right, maybe. Here, disable the electricity to get through. Right, oops, <laughs> try not to trip on the lasers. Oh my gosh, is that blue stuff the electricity? Yeah, we definitely need to turn that off. That is a thick wall of electric current. I do not wanna be walking through that. Okay, let's turn that off at the fuse box and then that should be disabled. We should be able to get through the door and hopefully to the final showdown. All right, doc, where are you? You coward, he's really just, not here. <gasps> okay, this looks promising. Defeat the boss to escape. It is time for the final showdown. All right, this is for the skyrocketing cost of medical bills, and this is for turning all of the patients into zombies, and this is for not taking that bead out of my nose. Yeah, you thought I'd forgotten the fact that I'm still gonna have to go to a walk-in clinic after this? It's inconvenient. And that bead is shaped like a daisy. And I want to put it on my friendship bracelet. All right, where are ya? I like how every single time the doctor just explodes into pieces and yet more of them keep coming. That's why I'm standing in the middle here. Got my perfect vantage point. I like how this doctor seems to think that he can actually win. I am doing this for the people. I'm doing this for every single patient who has ever been turned into a zombie, which is lots, probably. I'm doing this for the pizza party. Congratulations, you have defeated Toby, didn't know that was his name, and escaped his evil hospital. Oh my gosh, look, it's me, waiting to greet myself. All I have to do is cross this road. Oh my gosh, why is there an option to become Toby? I don't wanna become Toby. I want pepperoni pizza. 